Hey guys, it's Car Guy 11 Today we're going to take a ride in the 2017 Ram Power Wagon. We're going to go around this cool obstacle course Ram setup for the 2017 Chicago Auto Show, and we're going to see how this baby does around the course. How y'all doing? Good. All right, wow. hop on up. This is high, all right? Oh yeah. How y'all doing today? Good. Good. Yeah, make sure everybody's buckled up before you get the show on the road. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is the uh, this power two, wagon? This is 2017 2500 power wagon. Everybody good? Alright. My name is Brett and I'll be taking you along the uh, Ram truck territory today. Alright, here the first. Obstacle that we're going to is uh, testing out the stability, the uh, shocks, as you will, uh, the suspension. We have the five link coil spring suspension, and on the power wagon, you also have the Bilstein shocks on all four corners. And it seems pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go, we have the uh, 30 degree hill. About, we'll be sitting about 16 feet up. We're gonna test out the engine here underneath the hood. You have a 6.4 liter Hemi V8, 410 horsepower, 429 pound foot of torque. Barely had to press the pedal at all. See a lot of showroom from up here. Make sure you make your way over the Jeep over there. It's a pretty cool track. Now as we descend, you'll feel the uh, four anti-lock disc brakes. You also have the uh, downhill assist button right here. Mm -hmm. Press that. It'll uh, descend for you. You don't even have to put your foot on the brake. You just uh, manually. Right here, you press you know, how fast you want to go down that hill. All this right. is in low range? Mm -hmm. This is in low right now. All right, here we go. Here's another 30 degree side hill. We're testing out the frame here. As you'll see, there's no bending, no twisting. Very strong strong steel frame. If you want to, you can try to shake it back and forth so you can try to tip it. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. You have a Big wide one. wheelbase, a lower center of gravity that helps this out. Wow. We're gonna go to uh, the obstacle just for the 2500 here. We're gonna test out the torque on the engine and see if we can lift up this 5,000 pound wall. All right, we'll get hooked up. All right. Okay, that sounds fun. Alright, make sure the cable is tight before we guess it. Alright. No Not problem. Pretty easy. Alright, looks like they're gonna examine the wall, so I'm gonna let it sit. Oh, as you can see on the interior here, um, it's changed a little bit this year. You see there's they added some leather. Uh, used to be just cloth in the power wagon. If you feel on the back of your seats, you'll feel the tire tread of the exact tires that we oh. have on the truck. Of course, you have USB input here, your auxiliary input. Uh, you also have AC, DC outlets in here, so you can charge about anything you need to. On here, you have the 8.4 inch uh, LCD touch screen. Here you can control media, you control your uh, heated seats, heated steering wheel. Helps out especially in this part of the country. <laughs> Doesn't really help me out in Texas. You know, I don't really need the heated steering wheel that much, <laughs> that often. Yeah, the cargo camera so you can look back uh, into your uh, factory spray and bed liner right there. Oh yeah. Very nice. Do they warranty the bed liner? Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. Gonna slowly let it down. Oh, do you have any questions so far? Um, which the automatic in this one? It's the uh, six-speed automatic um, RFE, I believe. Uh, but I will double check on that. Make sure. Um, Can't get the eight-speed with that. Uh, no. Now it's more one. heavy duty, the six speed. Yep. So your choice is a rear lock or front and rear lock. You can't just do a front lock. Front. 
Oh yeah, here you have. Yep, you have. You can't do yeah. You see you in front there. Oh wow. Axle lock there. All right. You can get uh, an option as the uh, backup camera and the uh, tailgate. This one does not have it on. The, this one. Does this come in a diesel as well? Uh, no, not the power wagon. The diesel's a little too heavy for the power wagon. But 2500s do come in with the 6.7 liter coming turbo diesel. I'd like, thank y'all for coming along for the ride. Hope y'all have a great rest of the day. If I do have any more questions, make sure to go see our specialist. I'm